Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're with Dean Bell and I am the creator of this channel called the Engineers HubSpot. This is where we get into CAD, CAM software, all that type of good stuff. So stick around. We're going to be looking at a multiple DXF files. So it's one DXF file with a bunch of parts in it that we need to open. Okay, so We'll be back right after this and we'll get straight into it. Alright guys, hey, welcome back. I hope you're having a great week. I just wanted to put another video out there. I've been a bit slack on Fridays. Um, getting ready to wind down for the day, so we'll put this one out. Um... What I wanted to talk to you today is in Radan we have the ability to have macros and plugins and stuff like that. Okay, so there's one plugin that I really like and I'm going to show you this one here. It's called a drawing splitter. Okay, so this is where I come in and take a DXF file. Um, You'll probably find a mo most of my guys who are running plasma cutters, um, they'll probably be working with one type of DXF file. But most shops are now coming in with 3D design and stuff like that. And we cover all that stuff here as well. But today I just wanted to get into the 2D side and with the plugins, right? So I have this DXF file, I brought it in and um, so what I do is I come here drafting and then I open and then you can flick it down to DXF and you can pull in um, the DXF you want. You can have a template um, and you can set up different options for pulling in your DXFs. Okay, so I've already got that and I have this DXF and then what I normally do with this plugin, you got to save it. So I'll save part. And just save it as a multi split. Yep. So now I've got this, but I need to split it off and get it into single parts because most CAD CAM that you run will want to see these all separated into their individual parts. So when you go into nesting, so Radan allows you to have the ability of plugins and add ins and stuff like that. So I've got a plugin here called Drawing Splitter. So if I come in here, I go drawing splitter and I split the parts. Okay, so if I select this, it's going to run through those files and it's going to split them. So obviously, I've got this DXF in from somewhere and there's a couple of questionable areas or gray areas. I'm just going to sit. Hit OK. Yes to that. There's some feature in there. Um, but most of the times it seems to be going through except for the odd exception on a couple of parts and that's fine we can definitely clean those up pretty quickly and hit yes to that So now you can see it split my parts up and it's put them all in here and it's just telling me which ones they are, right? Because the DXF is one file, it's just broken them into that file name and different ones. So here you can um, maybe change them, change the quantities, change material. So if I come up here, I'm going to select this here. Let's select all these. Whoops. Select all those, change material, uh, CRS, 060, and uh, you know what, I'll give them all a quantity of 5 each, whoa, 5 each, and uh, hit import. So I've split that DXF, it's pulling in all those parts, and that's a quick way to do it when you're trying to split a DXF. I'm not sure how most of you are doing it now. Some customers have a way to do it, some don't. Um, it may not be important to you because you may be using 3D. 
right? So I've imported 32 parts, but you can still see I've got a couple here that need to be cleaned up. So if I'm in part mode, I can just simply come up here, look at this one here, for example. Come in here. All right, so I need to get rid of that. So what I'll do is I'll just go delete, um, and then I'll delete all features completely outside, and then we'll just go like this. can't get into that one so just delete this one boom done back yes save it yep and we're back into nesting all right so that there my friends is how you go ahead and split a dxf with that um split the d with the drawing splitter in there okay so that's one plugin there's other plugins and We'll probably get into that because we have some plugins here. Um, maybe you want to add additional info. So we'll, we'll save those plugins for a later video. But just wanted to show you how to split multiple part DXF into single parts. Okay. Thanks. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll probably come out with a couple more videos this week as well. Have a great day.